Hey guys, welcome back to channel Ajwad here from Funded Squad. If you have failed your funding challenge, haven't made any profits, I can tell you you're not the only one. I made overall $170,000 in last two and a half years from just prop trading, but it did not happen overnight. I failed over 20 funding challenges total and made $170,000. Now, if you are new to the channel and you don't know much about me, I have been trading with prop firms since 2019 when no one really knew about how prop trading works. I did my first FTMO challenge in 2019, got paid from FTMO in 2019, traded with many firms over the past five years, but over the last two and a half years is when I started to see significant growth in my prop trading journey as well as in my personal trading account. So I'm going to talk about all the mistakes that I made, how I learned from them and how I was able to generate over $170,000 after failing total 20 funding challenges. But before we do that, if you are new, you don't know, I have just recently launched my own prop firm funded squad, the one and only firm in the industry to offer you $25,000 instant funded account for just $249 a month. With payout on demand, as soon as you reach 5%, you can request your payout. You get one ratio 10 leverage. And if you use the code Ajwa Trades, you get 30% discount in your first month subscription. Not only that, you got 30% discount if you're going to be taking our two step challenge or one step challenge. And with that 30% discount for the challenge model, you also get buy one, get one free. The condition is once you pass the challenge, then you get the second account for free. We have had a successful launch of Funded Squad. A lot of traders have joined us so far and some of them are also about to get their payouts. Do not forget to join the Discord community from the link in description. And also if you're going to be taking the account, get 30% discount, which is a limited time offer using the code that I have shared with you. Now let's talk about if you are starting out or maybe you have taken the accounts with prop trading firms and you, you may have failed or you maybe have made some profits with it. Now, the most important thing when it comes to prop trading, and I learned it after filling 20 challenges, is that when as a trader, we come to prop firm and we look for the potential opportunity to trade the larger funds, the problem is we want to take that account, we want to rush out, and we want to get the funded account as soon as we can. How many times has it happened to you that you started your challenge you have a system that works, you have a strategy that you need to follow and you follow every single day. But because you are doing the challenge, you have a profit target, 10%, let's say, and you start to trade your account because in your mind, you are trying to complete the challenge as soon as possible. You are making mistakes. Now, what kind of mistakes you are making? You are forcing yourself to take the trade. You are rushing out. You are trading without any confirmation. You are simply jumping into the trade when market is either going up or market is going down. I am very sure that it definitely has happened to you. So what you need to do is you have to calm yourself. You have to understand market isn't going anywhere and problems are not going anywhere as well. There is no need for you to spend $500 in taking a 100k challenge and then blowing the challenge just because you simply cannot wait for a good trade opportunity just because simply you want to pass the challenge as soon as possible. That is the number one mistake every trader makes when they start the prop trading challenge. And that is why I personally wanted to bring the change in the industry. I wanted to do something new and I came up with the idea of offering instant funded account on a monthly subscription where you won't have to pay thousands of dollars to trade a 25k or a 50k account. Now, when we launched, of course, we had some restrictions, we had some hard rules, but many of the rules have been removed and all the remaining have been made easier for you. So that way you start to trade without any restriction and you reach your profits and get paid every time. Now, coming to the second mistake that I learned after failing over 20 challenges and after making over $170,000 is that no matter how good of a trader you are, you are certainly going to lose some of the challenge. Not every month is going to be profitable for you. Some months you make money, in some months you lose money. So when you are doing the challenge, you may be having a bad month and you may not start with profitable trades. Now, when you go down the mistake now, what we do is once you start to lose a couple of trades, maybe you lose two trades or three trades and you go down by two or 3%, 
you start to increase your risk instead of reducing you start to increase your risk which is why where we mess up i'm saying we because i used to make this same mistake and i have made this mistake many many times once i'm down two three percent there is no need for me to increase the risk i am already in negative and i have to not only recover the loss but also reach the eight percent or ten percent phase one target so because not only i have to recover and then make profit what we usually do every single trader you start over risking you think okay you should risk now two percent per trade or three percent per trade so that not only you recover but you also start to be in profits and what happens let's say that you risk two percent and that trade also goes against you now what instead of you are down by three percent and at that time you should be risking half percent only you risk two percent and now you are down five percent so it's like a mess you are not able to recover and this ultimately leads you to either hitting your daily drawdown limit or overall drawdown limit and because of that you end up losing the evaluation so you as a trader need to make sure there is no need for over risking take the prop firms as you are learning to become better trader now how you're going to learn to become better trader is every time when you're going down because you just spent 500 and you're looking to trade a 100k account now at funded squad we offer you six percent profit target on phase one and on phase two so let's say that you have six percent only phase one profit target you need to make sure that you are only choosing the right trade you are making sure that market is presenting you with the opportunity that meets your criteria you're not jumping into random trades and at the same time if you lose one or two trades you're not forcing yourself to over trade as well at the same time over risk to recover that loss and be in profit profit targets are small it's easier for you to pass the challenge so why do you need to over risk what i recommend always make sure that you are trading when market is presenting you with the opportunity that meets your criteria and you're never over risking now the biggest mistake other than this what i have experienced is that when you don't have any record of what you did past month past week how are you gonna improve you take a challenge account you start trading on that you blow it and then what instead of you going back to drawing board instead of you going back to see what you did wrong instead of you going back to learn from your mistakes what you are doing you are again spending your money and taking the account and then what the second account is also gone the same mistakes that you did in the first challenge you did in the second challenge as well that's why it's really important that every single trade that you take journal that trade write it down why you are taking the trade what were the reasons that made you think trade is gonna go in your profit where are you putting your stop loss what is your exit plan how much you are risking every single detail should be written down so that there is less chance of you making the same mistakes over and over again now coming to my last point the mistake that i have made many many times is that i lost my account mostly on the phase two now how many have you experienced that you passed phase one of the challenge but you ended up losing phase two why because the emotions come the excitement that i completed the phase one that means i'm going to be completing the phase two without any issue what happens is because of the excitement because of the thinking that i did it once i'm going to be doing it very easily you start with overconfidence you start to just randomly trade okay this trade is definitely going to be in my favor it's similar to what i have traded I don't need to do my due diligence. I don't need to check if it's meeting my rules because I, I feel like that it's going to be in profits. You always lose the account. Let me know in the comment section how many times has it happened to you because it definitely has happened to me that when I'm on phase two, I tend to lose more as compared to when I'm on phase one. When I'm on phase one, I am more careful. I am more slow when I'm taking the trades. I'm taking my time to process the information market is giving me. But when I'm on phase two, I don't do the things that I'm supposed to do. And as a result, I end up always failing the challenge. Now, these are the simple yet very important mistakes that every one of you make. I have made, I have failed over 20 challenges, but at the same time, I have made over $170,000 in profits from the prof firms why i made over 170k in profits with proof that i shared with you guys on my channel 
is because I was learning from my mistakes. I was making sure that I'm not going to be repeating the same mistakes yet. I did repeat some of the mistakes, but it wasn't that much. And I ended up being a profitable trader and my overall return on investment was a very decent one. So let me know what you think about these mistakes and what do you think about the solution that I shared with you. And also, if you haven't taken the account with Funded Squad, now is the time. Your payouts are guaranteed. We have the best scaling plan. Your daily drawdown limits can be increased up to 6%. Overall drawdown limits up to 12% on your instant funding account. We double your account every time when you are at 10%. And we also increase your profit split. We give you the lowest pricing in the industry for instant funding. Now with the 30% discount, you're going to be only paying $174 for first month to trade a $25,000 instant funded account. What else you need? So let me know in the comment section if you have any question. I am here to answer and thank you so much for watching until the end. Bye for now.